Hi again, everybody. John Popovich along with Greg Shoemaker from TriStateFootball.com. Week 9 and still got nice weather. This is pretty good. Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this isn't too bad. Uh, but playoffs will get a little different. And football really does change uh, once the weather changes in November. Well, you mentioned playoffs, and a lot of people aren't going to believe this, but they're already into the playoffs in Indiana, and uh, East Central has a big game coming up this week. East Central got the draw, the, the bad luck of the draw. They played number one Columbus East in, in Class 4A, and right now uh, East Central is number four in the state. So you got one versus four in the first round of the playoffs, and one of those great teams is going to go. Uh, East Central's always had a problem over the last decade of getting through either Evansville Reeds or Columbus East. Mm. And they've beefed up their schedule this year, John, to try to make things better for them and make them more well prepared. This year, the teams that East Central's played are a combined 47 and 32 on the season. And that includes 0 and 9 South Dearborn on their schedule. Now, on the other hand, Columbus East has only beaten two teams with winning records all season. Saw that. And their, their opponents are a combined 30 and 51. So maybe all this is going to work out for Coach Belmer and the Trojans come Friday night. Yeah, you wonder if Columbus East isn't going on a little on reputation there rather than just what they're actually doing. Could very well be. Um, Connor at Scott down in northern Kentucky. And uh, um, I, I think we're going to see a lot of offense in that game. They should. Both teams are averaging, or between them are combining for 70 points a game, but they're also giving up 55 a game between the two of them. So I look for a big scoring game. Uh, since 1998, this series has seen Connor win 10 straight games and by an average of over 29 points a game. So uh, they've won three in a row, Connor Cougars have. And for me, this is one of those games where, Scott, if they want to prove that they're a team that can win consistently against good teams, this is where it starts, right now beating Connor. Very intriguing game. Elder at Highlands. Highlands has a long winning streak on the line. So much pride down there in Fort Thomas. Elder goes across the river. Uh, that would be a nice win for the Panthers. A couple quick facts on this game. Highlands has won 28 in a row. Mm. Dale Mueller, head coach, there is two and four lifetime as Highlands head coach against GCL South teams. So, and all four of those losses are to Elder. Right now, Elder's playing well. I think they've really developed a sense of who they are offensively and defensively and that is a smash-mouth football team. I look for them to come out of wanting to avenge this loss to Highlands last year at home. Turpin against Loveland. Now, Turpin's still unbeaten. Uh, I, I would imagine Turpin uh, mainly an offensive team, Loveland a defensive stalwart more than anything else. And, and, and Loveland's one of those Jekyll and Hyde teams in 2012. They've got four shutout wins over Winton Woods, Kings, Glen Estee, and I can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but really four good teams they've shut out, yet they're five and three. They lost big time to Lebanon, mm -hmm. and, and that was that's sort of a, a bummer. But last week's loss to Walnut Hills, sort of an enigma to me. They were number seven in the Harbin ratings and in a position to, to solidify themselves, one of the eight region four spots in the playoffs. Uh, last year, Loveland beat Turpin in round one, uh, or just actually week one of the regular season, 42 to 28. And I think Turpin's going to come out really uh, focused on that and wanting to avenge that loss again as well. Well, behind us practicing, the Lakota West Firebirds are uh, really involved in one of the premier games. 8-0 Colerain against 8-0 Lakota West. Lakota West is 8-0 for the first time in their history. I think that's pretty exciting. You know, this is sort of one of those sleeping giants. Mason, Lakota West, the, these big schools up here up in the north in the GMC. Well, now they're trying to get to the same level as... as, as Cole Rain winning consistently. I look for a defensive battle in this game. Both teams are uh, giving up less than 14 points a game. In the last seven games, uh, Lakota West has given up less than, no more than 18 in a game. They've scored at least 27 in every game this year. And last week, they scored just 27. That was their low for the season. But there's so many different weapons for Cole Rain. And it just, I'll, I'll give you an example of how good Cole Rain is. They've only had one running back run the ball more than 20 times in one game this year. They've got so many different guys that can run the ball. And then if you look at Lakota West, they predicate their offense on the run game. And Michael Horton's run the ball at least 21 times in a game, five out of their eight times. So mm -hmm. they're going to run the ball and they're going to play good defense. I look for a low scoring affair in this one. Where are you going to be Friday night? I am going to be over at Connor and, and Scott at Scott. Uh, that is our Channel 9 on your sideline game of the week. Okay, good deal. Hope to see you at the game. John Popovich along with Greg Shoemaker. Have a great week, everybody.